Over the weekend, tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets around the globe in London, Paris, Berlin, Rome, Chile, Greece, as well as in Washington, D.C., all demanding an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. People of all races, religions, nationalities, and professions have joined that call, including over 200 artists, actors, and musicians who signed an open letter to President Biden, writing in part, we urge your administration, Congress, and all world leaders to honor all of the lives in the Holy Land and call for and facilitate a ceasefire without delay, an end to the bombing of Gaza and the safe release of hostages. We refuse to tell future generations the story of our silence, that we stood by and did nothing. As emergency relief, Chief Martin Griffiths told UN News, history is watching. Joining me now are actors Wallace Shawn and Cynthia Nixon and stand-up comedian Mo Amer. All are activists who signed on to this open letter calling on President Biden to demand a ceasefire. Thank you all for being here. It's such a pleasure um, to have you and in such, you know, awful circumstances. But I just want to go around the table and I want to start with you, Mo. Um, this is personal for you, obviously, because your family is there. They're in the West Bank. Just tell me how you're doing and how you, what you want to see differently done by the administration. Uh, first and foremost, I would love to see a ceasefire. I mean, the preservation of innocent civilian life is, is the most important thing to all of us here today. And I also want to just acknowledge how absurd it is to even have to say it out loud uh, yeah. that innocent killing of people is wrong and you have to say this out loud and this is where we've reached this is the point that we've gotten to uh, as a people where we it's almost controversial yeah it is controversial to just ask for simply a ceasefire knowing that so many innocent civilians are dying how is and, your family doing yeah and the west bank is a day-to-day -day thing i mean there is uh, a tremendous amount of settler vi violence coming from the uh, coming from the illegal occupation that's there uh, from the different settlements that are there and uh, every day is a it's a it's a it's terrifying yeah. Uh, I'm constantly reaching out to see if they're okay, how they're doing, do they have enough food, do they have enough water. Uh, clearly, the situation is much different there uh, than it is in Gaza, where they don't have any water, don't have any food, uh, don't have any electricity, which is a war crime, but it still continues to happen, which is absolutely mind-blowing. I don't know... I, this just needs to stop. It just absolutely needs to stop. Yeah, and Cynthia, I mean... There's been a lot of tension in Hollywood, um, you know, about whether people say something, don't say something, and what you say. And, and I think it's very emotional, I think, on all around, on all sides. What made you decide to sign on to this letter, and what do you want to see done differently? Well, absolutely, I think we're all here because we, we want to cease fire. And I, I will just tell you, you know, I have three children, two of them are Jewish, and I woke up on the morning of October 7th, and I heard what had happened, and I burst into tears um, because I was so devastated about what had happened, uh, the 1,400 Israelis that had been killed, the 200-plus people who had been, Israelis who had been taken hostage, but I also was so upset because I knew about the violence to come. And um, I have to say, you know, my oldest child um, is very centered in his Jewish identity and has is really the person in our family who is pulling all of us and saying we, we, we have to shout from yeah. the from the rooftops and we have to do um, everything to to stop this to, yeah. to to call for a ceasefire and the safe return of the hostages and humanitarian aid in Gaza where it is so desperately needed and Wallace you know you, you as a Jewish American yourself why do you think it is so hard for people to hold both of those two ideas at the same time that it is wrong to kill civilians no matter whether they are you know, Arab or Muslim or Jewish, but then also a ceasefire is not somehow a su somehow supporting Hamas. Well, I think a lot of uh, Jewish Americans are uh, schooled in the idea that the uh, murder of the Jews in Europe during the Second World War taught the lesson that uh, Jews must protect themselves and that there are no rules to guide them and to limit them or to restrain them. They must do anything they, they feel they need to do to protect themselves. I 
am more drawn to the idea that we need to all protect ourselves against each other and against the somewhat horrible uh, side of our own nature, which can be called upon at any time. So I think uh, many of the people, particularly as you say in Hollywood, uh, are uh, don't understand. If people have asked me, why are you protesting against killing people in Gaza, but you didn't protest the the massacre of Israelis in on October the 7th? And the reason is I'm an American and I'm paying taxes to the American government. I, I don't pay taxes to Hamas and they don't care what I think. but. The American government is supposed to care if yeah. we're theoretically a democracy. Indeed. And I wonder, have you all heard from the White House? Have you heard from the White House? I have not. I have not heard from the White House. <laughs> no response? No, no, no response. Nobody's uh, hit me up. Uh, <laughs> I would love it if they would. I uh, would love to really talk about the what's happening to Palestinians the last 75 years. I mean, the fact that this is even uh, a morsel of a surprise is absolutely uh, uh, just upsetting. It, this has been going on for quite some time. I don't want to see any innocent life, any more innocent life taken. It's absolutely absurd that we have to continue to have this conversation. Uh, I feel like it's a it's a cycle that they want us to be stuck in, yeah. uh, to be against each other, to finger point against each other. But that's not what the reality is here. Uh, I come from a Muslim Palestinian background. I'm American. Uh, I'm a product of statelessness and uh, being a refugee to America. Uh, I'm living the American dream. I'm an extremely privileged refugee that had a dream and was able to accomplish it. The children in Gaza don't have this chance. They are completely blocked in. Uh, hospitals being bombed, uh, a religious, uh, you know, from a church being bombed. To, I mean, like, there's not even a, a location that I can think of that hasn't been hit. Yeah. Uh, white phosphorus is being used, which is illegal. It's an absolute war crime. I don't want to see any more people die. Yeah. I don't want to see any more people. They're writing their names on, on their children's babies. And yeah. imagine a scenario where you have to do this. They're separating their families to preserve their own lineage. Yeah. I mean, that is insane to think about and for us to to come together as artists we we would rather be you know working and doing our thing sure. and focusing on that but it's impossible to sit still why something as egregious as this is happening. Well, I appreciate the fact that you all came together, um, the artists that all came together across yeah. different religions. Uh, and I think that's important and ethnicities and everyone coming together because it is a message that should not be controversial. Peace is not controversial. Absolutely. It's actually a good thing. Um, thank you, Wallace Shawn, Cynthia Nixon, Mo Amer. Thank you, thank you, thank you.